And uh, so the point here is that uh, you know, it's not just about flops, but uh, about the efficiency with which you use the flops. OK, so here's the big picture, right? So what we want then is both flexibility, which is represented by the time it takes you to reprogram your architecture. Uh, ASICs are inflexible. They can't be reprogrammed. But you get very high efficiencies, 1,000 to 10,000 mega ops per milliwatt. Uh, CPUs and GPUs are instruction-based. You can change the instructions every cycle. Uh, however, you get much less efficiency in terms of energy efficiency, uh, 1 to 10 mega ops per milliwatt. And uh, uh, the reconfigurable data flow architectures like, like plasticine with coarse grain dynamic configuration can get you dramatically better improvements in energy efficiency for a little uh, less, uh, a little longer time uh, for, for reprogramming. And they're much more uh, flexible and, and reprogrammable, at least they're much more uh, uh, programmable than a fine grain, statically configured architecture like the FPGA. Yeah? It's time to reconfigure the device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You just load in a new configuration. Well, the parameters. Yeah, the compiler figures out what, well, how to configure things. So you have you you've got a new configuration standing by. You want to change the personality of the device. You. You, you, uh, you load in a new configuration, and it becomes, you, you, you go from an LSTM to a CNN, right? Well, you've picked that ahead of time. The tile size, all the, well, how much memory you use is configurable, but, but that's dependent on, on, on what configuration you map, right? Whether you decide to map something across two PCUs or four PCUs or one PCU, that is dependent on the particular way that you map the algorithm. Right? That you've decided ahead of time. I'm just talking about how quickly you can, given a configuration, how quickly you can change it. Question? No. You are, you have to have to reconfigure it. Yeah. yeah but, but once you've re reconfigured it, now it's optimized for. for, for. Well, you, can def you, you can't concurrently. You, it's space share, right? So you could say this part of the chip is going to do CNN and that part of the chip is going to do LSTM. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, now you, can, now you can do 10 to 100x more data. Or, or, or you can now think about doing you know, training in an interactive way on large amounts of data that you couldn't do before. Yeah. How do you, what do you mean resize? It's too big. Well, you you know as you know, there's always well you can you can you can communicate across chip, right? You can you can build you can build bigger uh, uh, structures in the same way that FPGAs do, right? So Brainwave uses multiple FPGAs and cuts the cuts the design across multiple FPGAs.
So, so, so what you're doing is, is essentially, you're, you're laying out the computation in space. So you aren't computing a bit. Well, I mean, for, the, for a given amount of compute, they're roughly the same, but you're not spending a lot of time uh, having a lot of thread memory, right? So you and you and and so you you so you, yeah you you you're not using it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're also doing the computation differently, right? You're not you're using data flow instead of threads. Instead of, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Well, brain, brain, Brainwave fundamentally is going to pay the tax of the FPGA, right? Yeah, 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 yes. If they choose to, but then they'd have to pick something, right? Right? So you've got to pick something, and when once you pick something, it's fixed. Then the question is, you know, what did you pick? Right? And if you look at their architecture, their overlay architectures look somewhat GPU. I mean, they've, they've fixed things at matrix vector multiply. I just showed you that was the wrong design point. So you want something that's more flexible than that. So you're actually the dot product. Yeah. So that's your, your lowest level. Right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 How do you do? Like, what is reconfiguration Well, it's configuring configuring the the PCUs and the MCUs. So it's configuring. Yeah, there's just there's just a lot less configuration because you're doing it at a, at a coarser granularity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you, if you overlaid plasticine on top of an FPJ, you would have that. But you, now you're paying two overheads, right? You're paying the overhead of the plasticine architecture and the overhead of, of the reconfigurable of the FPJ. So, you know, we can always, you know, you might ask, well, how is it different than a simulator? Well, it's not fundamentally that you're doing the same computation. You're just paying a hell of a lot of overhead to... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just I I glossed over it, but yeah, there's a, there's a compiler. Yeah. Let's keep the question to the end because we have to finish by eight. Well, we're gonna finish by eight. We're gonna, I've got one more slide. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, sort of configuring the FPGA. Okay, just Yeah. Partial reconfiguration that they never got working. <laughs> yeah. You can map anything to an FPGA. I mean, you can. I mean, it's a general. It's a, it's a general substrate. The question is, what is the overhead you're paying? <laughs> I mean, I could put plasticine. In fact, we have put it on, on an FPJ. Yeah, yeah. If they did that, how would that fit into the Well, I don't know. I mean, I, our experience with OpenCL is the compilers don't work that well. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a, there's a whole lot of things you've got to get right. And one of them is is, is your mapping uh, to the to the architecture, and so you know whenever you do high level synthesis to FPJ, first of all the, the high level synthesis has got to be right, and then you've got to got the physical mapping to to the uh, to the underlying FPJ architecture. That's got to be right too. And it's not that you don't have to get it right here. It's just a simpler problem. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, something like that, yeah. Was that the because, uh, yeah, clearly. Well, that, that's off-chip memory. Uh, I think that's, uh, is it, uh, is, is, I think, I'm not sure what's, what's on-chip or what's, I can't remember the TPU. 38 megabytes, 28 on, on-chip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And DDR3, yeah. Right. So, so yeah, I mean, this is a, tw it's 28 nanometer, right? <laughs> this is not, not anything that you would build to compete with a, t with a, with a TPU. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, I've got PhD students, right? <laughs> I, I have two or three of them, <laughs> and they're designing... Uh, I didn't say anything about Samban over here. I said, I said Stanford. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, remember, CUDA, uh, the step that's, what? Yeah, yeah, you could take TensorFlow. Yes, so we have. We've taken TensorFlow and we run it through the compiling steps and we generate code that runs on Plasticity. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Not fair. <laughs> Actually, if you go to uh, NeurIPS, most of these slides are there. I gave a talk at NeurIPS. Not all of them, but most of them are. So anyway, let me conclude. So uh, we can have it all with Software 2.0, and that's all the Ps. Productivity, power efficiency, performance, programmability, portability. And we're going to do that by innovations in ML algorithms, exploiting the statistical nature of machine learning, with things like Hogwild, which I didn't describe, and Help, which I did. High-performance DSLs like Optimal, TensorFlow, PyTorch, high-level compilation capabilities, new accelerator IRs like Spatial that represent hierarchical data flow, low-level compiler capabilities, and hardware architectures like Plasticity. So with that, I'm done. And so if you've got any more questions, uh, I'd be glad to take them. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. There are no instructions per se. It's only for you, it's lots, lots of configuration. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you can change it, but yeah. Okay, so if there are no more questions, let's thank our speaker one more time. I'd like to thank you by a certificate from the societies. Thank you.